Hola, Virgo friends, and welcome. This is your heart spread reading here in the urban studios of Cancun, Mexico. I've driven indoors by the workers out there nearby in the rain. Using the Gilded Terror Royale for this one, guys. End of November, heart spread. This is the one that's on your mind and the one that's in your heart. These is eight cards. It's going to end up in the shape of a heart here. And um, we'll look at you, and the person you're thinking of is like the seventh house, an astrologer too, so I think of it that way. You're a projection of our animus, our anima goes there. Um, and if you're watching, think sun, moon, rising, and Venus in Virgo too. And I remind you that Wednesdays are always <laughs> Leo and Virgo day here. And if you haven't checked out the Soul Family Read, would you give it a try? I will put a link to it in the description of this reading. It's always on my channel. It's a daily uh, collective read for whoever resonates more around manifestation, spirituality, where I kind of speak more personally and uh, talk about those less so of a love reading than is this one. And also on every Wednesday I do for uh, Leo's and Virgo's, the singles read, Meet the Soul Rate. But that one is when you literally have no one on your mind. This is for the one you're, you're thinking of. Um, that little pickup, they don't necessarily have to be with you. Page of Swords. So, this is your energy here, Virgo, in and around relationships, where your mind and heart is at. And I feel like, if you kind of look at this card, in the Gilded Terror Royale deck, um, I, this page kind of uh, disturbs me a little bit. You know, it's supposed to be delivering messages. Doesn't it kind of look like the message that page might be delivering is, the king wants me to cut off your head or something, you know? It's very uh, strong energy um and um a little bit dark kind of energy um and usually here also we're reading past energy because i'm not yet reading about your person virgo i'm reading more here about just your energy and if you're in this energy it's like you know it's like you're you're meeting your as you go forward with this energy whoever you meet now, you're going to greet them with the tip of your sword. How about put it like that? You're not going to greet them with a hug or a handshake. You're going to greet them with the tip of your sword. You're going to be like, hey, man, you want to meet at Starbucks and, you know, uh, talk? And like, okay. And when you show up, it'll be the tip of your sword, like, in their chest. And they're, you'll be like, sit down, talk. <laughs> yeah. Kind of hot. But... Um, no nonsense here to you ain't whoa i don't know. thank you spirit now look and note to the dove here in this ace of swords and everything about this the colors you know it's just absolutely the perfect response so for the person for you to have on your mind, you're drawing in someone that seems very compatible to your energy here. Um, you might even say, like, whatever you present to them, they're like, you know, well, um, I'll uh, see that and uh, call your game. And, you know, they're going to win. <laughs> Their hand's going to win uh, with this Ace of Swords over your Page of Swords. But it's very similar and also, when they come in, it's with this Dove of Peace. So here's what's going on. I'm going to tell you guys. Uh, you, you're communicating, and they're telling you about something with their ex and, like, the way they handled it, expressing your Ace of Swords. Also, with their ex, they cut them off. And I don't mean that violently. I mean emotionally. They may have used the help from a psychic to cut ties, um, this person. Because the dove here, is, this sword is not meant for you. In fact, they're not really coming in as hard as you are. And maybe the reason why they're showing you this side of themselves is because you meet them sword first. And they kind of smile and go, and you're like me, they're like, that's kind of kind of hot. <laughs> and, you know, um, they're like, sit down. And they kind of tell you, like, their story, see. Um, and you think you're going to resonate with what they're saying a lot. Uh, and so really kind of a perfect energy to start out with here i i don't know why i just heard a fair and i would say this it's also the kind of energy i could definitely see that being how it starts 
because there's going to be something about the way you guys communicate with each other. And honestly, this could start with the eyes, the way you look at each other. Um, and, and you know, if this is your reading, it's very different. This person, it was from the second you first opened your mouth, they opened your mouth, and the second you saw them, the second you looked in their eyes, there's something different about the way you guys related and the way you talked to them. I guarantee you talk to this person a lot differently than you talk to anybody else or probably any of your uh, other lovers. Past or present, no judgment. This is just who you're thinking of, guys. Now, this is your energy towards them, but let me tell you, look, I mean, this is the building of actions, wands, building of a long-term committed relationship or marriage. When you get this here in the energy of how you're feeling about them, if this is your reading, then you either got to, you know, be honest or you got to get mad and say no. But this is you kind of like thinking like, I could marry them. I really could marry I think they might be the one. Now, wow, what a difference. And for them, the four swords. They meet your energy with the four swords. I don't really mind this. Um... I get the feeling that the person you're dealing with here, frankly, Virgo, is a little bit older than you in whatever sense that means. They might actually be a little bit wiser than you. I think they relate to you, and you, you see kindred spirits in each other, like big time, um, soulmate stuff, all this. Uh, you, you began talking immediately, saw that your past history is almost identical. You know, boy, girl, girl, boy, however it worked out. Uh, it was almost identical things, how they went down. But your person here, I think, probably has an awareness of what this is. Uh, if there's a cross watcher, please comment or share this, Virgo. I'd love that if, you, if it resonates. But, you know, in any case, there's a period here of rest. But I feel like they're meeting you, like they realize. But this could be them saying, I need four weeks, four months, not four years. It could be as much as four months. I need this time to get things together, you know. Um, maybe they weren't quite prepared. Yeah, that's why I say it could have come in as an affair. Could have just maybe not an affair and come in out of nowhere, out of the blue. It's kind of dropped. I think more for them, that would be the feeling of that. Um, but I think it's like they're in this energy because they feel very strongly about you as well. It's like in, with the four of wands, you probably said to them, uh, Virgo, I think I want to marry you or you know, I think I want a long-term committed relationship with you. Now, this is your advice from spirit. Ah, oh, Virgos, you guys, it kills me. You know, I'm sad, you know, I got a Virgo ascendant. My Virgo friends, I always get the best uh, transits and everything, you know. Uh, this is the advice from spirits, basically to get some, I don't know how to say other than that. Spirits like, get some. <laughs> so apparently this time, because uh, um, this is advice from spirit, I, I would always take that. Literally, <laughs> nowadays, I literally always take it. Um, so, you know, there must not be too sick to really have passionate um, intercourse with you. I don't know, but uh, this is a uh, passion. And it's coming under this desire, too, for them feeling like they're the one, wanting even to marry them. And here you see the Knight of Swords. So here's the deal with the Knight of Swords. So spirit, this is your advice from spirit towards them. And this is your advice here, the Ace of Wands, uh, towards your person. Um, and so their advice is to come to you, again, honestly and directly, which is, look, at their cards are all just pretty much the same you know look at the colors there so look guys you're all lit up over here with fire you come in a little dark here with the creepy page of swords I call them in this uh, <laughs> Gilded Tale Royale deck you know um, I'm gonna get these right <laughs> but uh, very much a thing so you know they're coming maybe from kind of a dark place guys a little bit of a dark place your person, but I think you kind of understand that. Um, and advice from spirits kind of for them to just keep doing what they're doing and being honest and being open. And I, I see you guys having contact in, in developing this relationship, uh, but there's still some sense of your person 
meaning these maybe four months is most likely, maybe four weeks uh, period to take care of uh, something and finish healing something. And come on, what did I tell you? We could talk about a marriage. Don't yell at me, but if it is, and invite me, because I would love to be invited to somebody's marriage. If I say you're going to get married and you get married, probably I won't come, be honest with you. But I like the idea of it, and I would like to be invited. Um, if you have it in Cancun, Mexico, I'll come. <laughs> you can figure that out. So, I mean, I don't know how to read it. This is the core of the heart spread here. You can see it forming the heart here, and we're not even at the outcome. And this is a Vaishnava spirit for the relationship as a whole. And that's like, put a ring on it, guys. Could be just simple as that. That's a big, that's a big go. In the chariot, this is a lot of card right here to get. This is in the outcome of your heart spread, Virgo. And with this chariot card, believe it or not, um, you've got them coming to you with their words. One of you is damn well going to physically move to the other one here, Virgo. One of you will move to the other one. More than that, for both of you, with the chariot card, um, and I mean, it's over, it's over the Her Herophon card here, so um, as advice and spirit. Now, with that advice and that outcome, there's got to be a spiritual element to this relationship where you guys, by, to me, what the chariot means is aligning ourselves with our spiritual purpose. And when we get the chariot, it's as if, to me, our guides and angels are in the stands cheering us on. So this is the one that really counts. And as the outcome in this relationship reading with this person you're thinking of, I can't help but think that Spirit is trying to tell you here that this alignment, long-term committed relationship and or marriage, you know, it's not only blessed, but more important than that, it, it's literally both of you moving more into alignment with your own soul's purpose. So this relationship is your soul's purpose. And we have more uh, energy here on the bottom of the deck, which I do read now in the heart spread with the Knight of Cups. So other than the outcome being the chariot, you know, we need some cups here and the Knight is strong. Um, and you have the um, sexual passion here, the Ace of Wands being your advice. Um, so make a date and tell each other how much you love each other and maybe be corny and shit like that, Virgo. You know, and look forward to this uh, union that you're going to have. It's going to feel triumphant too. There's a triumphant feeling as if the union of you guys and however that goes, whether it's a marriage or moving in together or something uh, is going to be, for both of you, feel like a triumph. I think it will be at a very deep level. So thank you guys. Do give me a like, thumbs up, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. Please subscribe if you haven't and hit that bell. Thank you guys.